Alrighty, this will be a super, well, <laughs> it could be a super quick video, but I want to mention just a few other things. I know, well, I think you might get annoyed with me, but get over it. Just fast forward or something, honestly, whatever, right? I think people get annoyed. Just give me the answer. People are so impatient. Have patience. All right. Why am I doing this question? I'm doing this question because I have a extremely quick and efficient way of answering this question. So we're given these forward rates, okay? And we're asked about the spot rate. And there's a relationship between spot rates, forward rates, zero coupon bonds, price of zero coupon bonds. Uh, what else? Something else probably I'm forgetting. Anyways, um, here's a really nice relationship. And first of all, let me write down what I'm looking for. I'm looking for S sub three. Notation wise, I want to know what is S sub three. This is the three year spot rate. That's what I'm after, right? So uh, what is a nice relationship between the spot rate and the forward rate? This is pretty much, honestly, maybe the only one I try to remember. The only one I try to remember, and everything basically comes from this. Well, not everything, but <laughs> saying everything and all the time is dangerous in math. You know that, right? So this is something that you do want, okay? Um, F sub zero, okay, this is the, the one year forward rate from now, um, is equal to, first of all, it's equal to S1. From this, though, this, is, this means nothing. I mean, who cares about this, right? Um, but what I can say also is that F1, and if you like, um, well, I'm going to write it this way. I'm going to write it this way. So F1, I'll just write this way. 1 plus F1 is equal to 1 plus S2 squared over 1 plus S1. Now, I just wrote some stuff down, and I haven't even told you what the hell it means. This is F sub zero. And there's a, sometimes there's even a better notation for this. Uh, so let me just put that real quick. F sub zero. This is F sub one. This is F sub two. F sub three. Uh, F sub four. The way that they word this is kind of confusing. Uh, SOA or exam situation uh, for this, they'll just say, what's the forward rate in year one? And by the way, the notation that I was saying that is slightly better. I think it's this, F sub zero oftentimes is written as F sub zero to one, because this is more, I think, uh, explains more what this notation means. This is the rate in year one, basically, in this interval, year one. So this is uh, the rate, the forward rate in year two, actually, because this would be F sub the interval one to two. And the way that this may be worded sometimes is something like, if they wanted this rate, forward rate in year one, they might say something like, or this F sub one, they might say, what's the one year forward rate deferred one year? It sounds super confusing, but they're saying, what's F sub one? This is why you get mad at me, because I go off on these tangents, what the hell am I doing? Let me go back to the question, damn it. Here's the deal, here's the deal, look. This sort of, it's kind of like an iterative process. I can also say that one plus F, two is equal to one plus S three cubed over one plus S two squared. If you just can remember this part, honestly, it will save yourself a lot of time. Uh, a lot of things to remember, really. There's a lot of different things to remember, but if you just remember this, in my experience, I haven't passed yet, but I have a week. I think it next week, week from today. My experience, this is the main thing you need to remember in terms of spot rates and forward rates. Zero coupon bonds, I mean, you can bring that into it as well. I wanna talk about that right now. All right, so anyways, what's the point of that? What is the point of that? Uh, let me write down um, something that will help me with this question. We're asked for, again, we're asked for S3. We're asked for S3. All right, well, Given what I just said, let's say this, let's say this, okay? Isn't it true 
Well, let me just write what's true and then I'll explain why it's true. Well, look, one plus S three cubed, I claim is equal to the following. One plus F zero, the forward rate, okay, the forward rate in year one, plus, uh, times one plus F one, the forward, the one year forward rate deferred one year, times one plus F two, the one year forward rate deferred two years. This is the relationship that just answers this question immediately. This comes from what I just wrote down. This comes from what I just wrote down, right? Uh, why is that? Why is that? Because we know that one plus F two is equal to one plus S three cubed over one plus S two squared. But what is one plus S two squared? Okay, well I can use this relationship. One plus F one is equal to one plus S two squared over one plus S one. And I finally have this relationship, which just says that the one year forward rate in year one is equal to the one year spot rate. I'm not even gonna do it. I'm not even gonna do it. You know how to do it. You're watching this, you know how to do algebra. Get S3 by itself. Do some substitutions and you get this, right? You get this business. This is the relationship you wanna use. So therefore, therefore, I will do this last computation for you. What does this imply? This implies that the third, the spot rate, the three-year spot rate is equal to the following. Therefore, in terms of our question here, and again, if you just know this from what I've just done, then it's, it's easy peasy, right? The three-year spot rate is equal to one, well, let's see, F0 is right here, so 1.04 times, 1.06 times 1.08 to the to the one third minus one. I did some algebra. I did some algebra. You can do it. I have faith in you. I mean, cube root both sides and subtract one, and you should get you should get approximately. It's slightly less, but if you round, you get approximately six percent. 0.06. Anyways, sorry if that was a bit unorganized, but I just sort of winged it, whatever. I hope this was helpful. This is, if you look at what they did, I only looked at it briefly and saw, wait a second, this is way too complicated, too confusing. It's not even that confusing, but it's just annoying. It's just annoying. You start doing these exam questions, you realize these computations are get so annoying. They're so annoying. All right. Tell me what you think. Hope it was helpful.